Today we are going to build our RAG based AI agent from scratch. Well, what is RAG? Which is called Retrieval Augmented Generation. Let's first understand what it is. For example, we have a LLM already downloaded maybe on our local system, might be computer or anything like that. For example, it is Llama 3.2 and here is one user which has given a prompt or query to the LLM and obviously any LLM will be trained on certain parameters or data which we are calling trained knowledge base and obviously it can give you answers depending on that. But what happens when a user has asked something which might not be available in that particular LLM or for example the particular organization or the person is having some external knowledge basis and if the user tries to find that particular answer from the LLM, LLM might not know that data and might not answer properly. What if we can connect our LLM with our external knowledge base or our private knowledge base. For example, let's connect this for now and we'll take a look how we can do that. And in this case, if the user is giving a prompt, the LLM or the AI agent which we are going to create, it can talk to our external RAG or the vector database which we are going to create. And depending on the query, the external vector database or RAG whatever we are calling, it will give some documents to the LLM model. Then LLM will process it and give you the summarized result. In simplistic world, this is how RAG works. There is also a bigger picture, but we are making it really simple. Okay, enough of theory. Let's jump into our coding exercise then. Let's understand our code part and let's understand our requirements. We are going to mainly use the LangChain, the code module LangChain. Then we have LangChain Olama to connect our Olama models. Then we have LangChain Chroma. This is basically the database or the vector database for RAG. Then we have LangChain Community. We'll see what are the modules we are importing. Then we have Unstructured MD to read some markdown files. So let's start by installing the dependencies. And obviously the code link will be in the description as usual. Let's change our directory to the desired folder which is LangChain. And this is RAG MD for markdown. And simply I'll be using UV, VNV. You can very well use Python virtual environment. That's not a problem. And my virtual environment has been created over here. So let's use that. That is source VNV bin activate. And it is quickly done. And we have the requirements.txt which is good. What I'll do, I'll use UV. So UV pip install requirements.txt. And you can simply use pip also, that's not a problem. And very quickly, it has installed all the modules. That is good. Now let's understand what we are going to achieve. First, we are installing Olama embeddings. And what is an embedding model? And by large, we are going to use two models. One is MXBAI embed large. And another one is Llama 3.2. If you remember, in between, we had the LLM and user was directly interacting with that LLM. And behind the scene, we'll be having our RAG system. To efficiently store our data into the RAG, we need another intelligent model. So for that, we are using the embedding model, which helps us to store our data efficiently. And this will be our front-end LLM, which is Llama 3.2. Okay, now let's go one by one. First, we are importing Olama embeddings, which will be interacting with Olama and its embedded models. Then we are importing Chroma from LangChain Chroma. This is the vector database which we are going to use for our RAG system. Then we are importing a text splitter. And let's quickly check what we have in our markdown files. So I've created a folder or directory which is called markdown files. And basically I've downloaded all the markdown files from Olama. So it has frequently asked questions and how to install and many other troubleshooting steps, everything in this empty files. And this particular recursive character splitter, what it will do, it will take a document and it will split into your desired chunk size, splitting a big document into smaller chunks in simpler words. Then we are using from the community, LangChain community, unstructured markdown loader. So this will help us to get the data from this markdown files. We'll see one by one. Then we are importing OS and time, which are standard libraries. And we are defining where our Olama is running. So by default, it runs on localhost 1434. 
Then I'm defining a Python function which is called mdrag. It can be any name. And what are the parameters? We need a source directory. That means in which directory you have the md files. So it will be markdown files for us. Then we are specifying a database path where the database is located. Then a collection name by which name we are going to store our rag system. So collection name you can think this as a kind of a database name or anything like that. Then model name. So this model is particularly for embedding. Then we are defining chunk size and chunk overlap. Chunk size is basically how you want to split your document. So we are specifying we want to split it in thousand chunks something like that and chunk overlap. If there is an overlapping between chunks how much that would be and here is the function definition what are the arguments and what it is expecting then we are taking one variable called add documents and we are checking if the database path exists or not if it not then it is going to create in the next step then we are defining embedding models and we are using the embedding models from here and we are specifying which model we are going to use by default we have a model name which is defined over here which is mxbai then where our ulama is running the base url which we got from our environment variable and if any environment variable is not defined it will take the default value which is localhost 11434 now my embedding is ready next i have text splitter we are using the recursive character text splitter which we are importing at the beginning then we are specifying chunk size and it was 1000 for us and we are specifying chunk overlap the value which have defined then we have a if clause if add document if the document did not exist this value will be true that means db is not created and it will show you this message it is creating your db and what it will do it will loop over your source directory whatever we have given while calling this function that means it will be markdown files it will go file by file it will check whether it is a markdown file or not which is md if it is md file what it will do it will create a file path like full file path using the directory and the file name then it will use unstructured markdown loader which we have imported from the langchain community and it will give the file path so this function will basically read the markdown once your loader is ready if we hit loader.load it will basically read and give you the text from that particular markdown and what we are specifying we have defined one empty list which is documents and it is going to store that text into documents in this particular list so this will be done for each files or each md files i'll say once the document is updated for each md files it's time to split our document into smaller chunks now we are using text splitter which is nothing but our recursive character text splitter then we are using split documents so it will basically use this document and it will split into smaller chunks as we have defined with this chunk size and other things once everything is splitted into this particular text variable we are going to store that into our vector store and we are defining vector store and we are using chroma which we have imported at the beginning the chroma database we are saying chroma dot from documents we are specifying this particular method from documents and what documents we have with us we have the splitted text by using this text splitter that means a smaller chunks of all the data we have in this particular markdown files or this directory so we are loading into our vector database we are specifying the embedding function or the embedding model and our embedding model was ulama embedding and it was mxbai which is intelligent enough to store your data into the small chunks and related data will be stored into nearest chunks and so on this embedding function will take care of that then we are saying where to store that particular database and whatever database path we will be giving it will be storing that database into that particular directory then what will be our database name and it is called collection name here so we will be giving that collection name and we are basically taking the end time we have started with the start time counting the end time also just to take a look how much seconds it has taken then we are fetching all the ids just to check how many data chunks has been stored in our vector database 
it will happen for the first time whenever your database does not exist next time onwards it will go into the else it will use chroma the vector database it will use your collection name it will use your db path or the database directory and it will use your embedding using that it will try to fetch and again similar we are getting the set of ids just to check how many documents are there or chunks are there and we are simply passing on vector dot or vector store dot as retriever this particular function will be returned to the caller whoever is calling this particular md rack function that means it can search through this function and we are specifying how many relevant documents to search with and 5 is a good number you can increase it to get more documents from the database and decrease it and its optional value you can try with this value now we have defined app.py we are importing olama llm similar to olama embedding model which we used this time we are using olama llm and this will help us to connect with our llama 3.2 which is running on olama and we are using chat from template and by this method we can tell our llm like what we are looking for basically and from our vector vector means this particular vector.py we are importing this function md rag then standard one import os then again we are using the environment variable to get the olama api base or wherever it is running from then we are specifying which model we are going to use for our prompt and we are using olama llm we are specifying the model llama 3.2 and what will be our base url which we are getting from the environment variable now we are defining or telling our llm what is our expectation and we are defining into this template variable and you are an expert in answering technical questions and you will get the answers from markdown files something like that and here are some relevant documents which we will be getting from the embedded model and it will be passed to this particular llama 3.2 model and we are specifying that you will get documents and along with that we will be also giving the question to the particular llm model and this is a simple english like template which our llm will be using then we are defining our prompt and we are using chat prompt from template which we have imported and we are saying from template and we are passing on our template which we have defined over here then we are defining chain on variable we are passing on prompt then model this particular pipe what it does it takes the prompt passes to our model and model is our olama llm so prompt will be passed to our model and model will know the context what it is designed for then we are defining where is our markdown files or the directory we are specifying markdown files which is this directory now we are calling our md rag function we are saying source directory is this particular directory and we are specifying a db path which does not exist in our directory and we are saying a name and by default it will be created first time and the name is chroma mddb you can name it anything and collection name or database name we are saying for example maybe tech files it can be any name and once this function has executed successfully it will return that particular retriever which we have seen at the vector store as a retriever it will return that particular function then we are running while true that means an infinite loop to get our chat prompt going on unless and until we hit q from our chat prompt and it will be cli based for now now if it is not q that means there is a genuine question from the user which we are storing into this question variable what we will do we will use that question to invoke the retriever which we have got from our md rack function and we are passing question what it will do behind the scene using that question it is going to look into our vector database and it is going to return us some documents using this particular as retriever function that documents will be stored into this particular reviews variable then what we are doing we are invoking a chain a chain is our basically prompt and model and do you are invoking that chain and specifying you have this particular two things documents and the question so instead of saying reviews and let's change it to docs or any variable name so basically we are passing on docs to the documents which we have specified over here 
and the question. Now our LLM which is Llama 3.2 will get some documents from RAG and it has the question. It will try to get the meaning from those documents and it will summarize for you in the result variable. And finally we are printing our result. So let's get everything into action. So I will open up my terminal. Already our virtual environment is running which is over here. What I'll simply do, I'll use python app.py and now it is showing DV is not created, it is trying to create the database. And you'll see a folder is now created and it has found 15 documents. It is going to take some time to chunk the documents into smaller sizes and our embedding model will help this to store efficiently. If you have a better GPU for your Olama, it is going to be much faster and it has stored 173 document chunks. That's good. Now our retriever is ready. Let's try some questions. So this particular markdowns are mostly on Olama. So how to install Olama on Linux? Let's try this question. It might take some time depending on the GPU speed. And here is our answer from the AI. It seems something like this, which is good. Now we can ask some other questions. How to start Olama service, something like that. And these documents can be anything for you. And these are some answers which it got from the RAG. How to do a streaming. So maybe how to do a streaming API call, something like that. Let's see. And this is the method. Okay, that is good. This is how we can have our own RAG and we can interact with our LLM models. But this does not look pretty, right? In our later episodes, we'll try to throw light LLM on top of this, which can create an API layer on our Langchain rag and we can basically plug that in into any UI be it Google ADK, OpenWeb UI or anything like that. So till then stay tuned. Thanks for watching.